Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, AK Squad? So today I am bringing you a reaction. <laughs> single day I have people telling me oh Ashton you should do reactions you should do reactions you should do reactions right and I start thinking that'd be pretty dope if I go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and do the reactions that way y'all can see my personality and I can do it without Jakaya and it's my own little thing going on so Today, I am going to be reacting to the whole Ace family drama that they're trying to address to show people what actually took place on their whole journey and where they got to, where they actually standing now. I have been watching the Ace family since day one. There's a whole lot of people out there who do not like them, who call them scammers, they have a whole bunch of drama when it comes to this family. Everybody is not perfect, so I'm actually kind of excited because they have not dropped a video literally in some weeks. Um, it's probably been maybe roughly, I want to say maybe a month. And the last video they put up saying that they're not going to be making videos for a while. They're going to be shooting a documentary explaining their whole situation. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Ace Family, it's a YouTube couple. They blew up over a couple years. Um, they got two daughters named Ayo and Alea and Catherine and Austin. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be reacting to them. So I am a fan or I like their family. And so when I react to this video, I will be giving my honest opinion and my thoughts on the situation um there is four parts to this documentary today well yesterday because today is actually it's like two o'clock in the morning and i'm just now getting around to this so they actually dropped the video um some hours ago roughly about nine hours ago so i'm actually kind of late doing this reaction but i'm still doing it and this is part one the next one will be on march the second i believe for episode two so this is the first episode so so let's go ahead and get straight into the video this intro set up be like the beginning of the video i like it because it's like giving them a rundown from when they was kids to their adult life um i always said this since day one even before we started this a uh, youtube channel whoever be editing their videos whoever be shooting their videos i can't remember the guy's name but he is a beast at recording and editing their videos like just everything all together is like perfect um the music and everything goes with it's very like an emotional state right now you know and it's just perfect everything is like black and white as like a flashback so so far good quality always good quality when it comes to their content i'm sorry it's always good quality but let's let's continue looking at this Like they have not changed. They still look the same. <laughs> L is the cutest daughter ever. And, and how they got the set up, they was not doing no plan. They was going to give you an insight. Like, they took it from childhood to 
recording while they was like getting Ale's dollhouse set up, playing with Ale and everything. Like it just so far, I feel like it's going to be very sentimental, very touching. And the ones who've been dragging them, I feel like this is their time to like, it seemed like everybody who's been dragging them is going to feel bad that they was dragging them. It's like, you know, you dragging this, but this, you dragging us, taking us this far, dragging us hard, but you don't even know what's going on. So we're about to make you feel bad for all the things you say, for all the things that you posted, you know, I think it's about to be, and I think each time, every, the next episode, every time an episode come out, it's going to get even like more emotional. So let's see. <laughs> she has got so chubby it's like ridiculous i remember when she first had her but l is getting so big alayla is just getting so fat so chubby like literally she like a little mexican baby i'm sorry she looks like a little mexican baby like she's so freaking adorable it's ridiculous and I don't know why this, I mean, I know that they have a lot of drama with them. And I understand why they actually took a break from doing their vlogging and different things like that. But in reality, like they're still human. They're still a real family in this world. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, hopefully this would be a better year for them. That's ridiculous, like, ridiculous how many subscribers they got, and, like, it keeps growing, and, and I promise you, they're going to get more subscribers from this documentary. Like, no lie, they, people be dragging this, this family, be dragging them, damn, they be getting dragged, but their subscribers, they, it's ridiculous, like, insane, it's insane how fast they just, like, rocket ship off. Like insane, insane. This is like good quality. Hopefully one day, and I keep saying this, that I can edit like this, like crazy, crazy, crazy. She looks so stressed out just sitting there right now. Catherine has always been small like me, like small, skinny, small. Since she had a Layla, like, I don't know, she got a butt job done or she just gained weight, but she have gained some weight and it actually looks pretty good on her. But she used to be so teeny. She actually has, I think it's like baby weight. I remember when I first started watching them, when they first was getting, 
like going on YouTube. Um, I remember they had a video. I actually remember their first video was sit on a couch. And it was just explaining. Um, and I remember they sit on this like this tannish brownish looking couch. And Catherine was holding Elle. Because Elle was like a baby. And she just looked so uncomfortable in the camera. Like she really never talked that much. But as the years go by, she's like comfortable. She's talking. You see more of her personality. And... To me, just as watching this, it's crazy because I've been watching it since day one. So it's just like, oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. And I'm already getting to that point. Like, I remember they moved out here, out to L.A. And they didn't have anything. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, whew, they have, like, everything. Now they have to go back and, exp and walk the path that they already walked. Just explain their life to people. And I think that's kind of like... I don't know, I, that's like really crazy to me. And as you get bigger and how much money you, you know, more money you make, the more you have to explain yourself to people. Um, and it just shows how this world operates and thinks. I'm trying to get my braces taken off. The loft for super cheap. So I think the loft was like 2100 and I was telling him, like, uh, to be honest with you, we don't really have the money for that. Is there anything you can do for us? And he was like, yeah, let me get, he'll get back to you. Like, he gave it to us for like 15 Oh, and I remember, when, I remember when you called me and you were like, the best part about it is you don't have to give them like first, last, and security. I don't know if there's anybody out there that's watching this that has never ever got a place but moving and finding places to to move to with the deposit and everything like that especially when you don't have it that way is so stressful so stressful like usually well i know where i'm from they want you to pay a deposit up front which is always the same amount as the first month's rent you know what i'm saying and then the application fee and everything, like, it's so expensive trying to, like, get your foot in the door to get settled in just to have a roof over your family. So it's very stressful, very hard. And if you don't have it, it stress you out even more because it's just like, what you supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? So moving and not having the funds is so stressful. Like, I don't even want to go down that route. It's so stressful. To so have somebody looking out like that person did was like, it makes you excited to move. Just to go do what I had to do, come back to the house, not worry about anybody following me, not worry about anybody being at, at, at my house when I got there, not worrying about, you know, friends. Y'all, so that's stressful as that is stressful as hell, having to worry about your every move. Like your house is your sanctuary, and if you have to worry about coming home and somebody being there waiting on you that that's so scary and it's not even scary it's like scary so scary to the parent or yourself but if you have children it's more more scarier because it's like dang anything can take place a crazy person can be out there just waiting to do anything to you and you got your children your family or just you by yourself i'll be scared to do anything so that is scary, but at the end of the day, when you do YouTube, are you a public figure in this world to different people, millions and billions of people? 
you're going to take chances because once you open up your life to the world, that's it. You then gave them a free opportunity to feel the way they want to feel, say what they want to say, and they think it's okay to react to anything within your life. That means popping up. That means stalking you. That means call, trying to find your number, see you in a mall, run you down, talk bad about you, talk good about you. That's giving people an opportunity. A wise person told me before, once you give somebody a free opportunity in your life, they're going to feel like it's okay to say or do anything, period, period, period. I don't care who you are. You can tell somebody a secret. Don't think they're not going to tell you, duh. They're going to talk about you. They're going to say what they want to say. They're going to tell the next person because you gave them a free opportunity inside your life. Um. So he should have been expecting this since day one. He probably didn't expect that he'll be so big, but expect to know that your life is about to get mad crazy when you keep growing the way you growing like you know what i'm saying friends or acquaintances people that me wanting something from me <laughs> you do not understand how excited i am to be here damn it has been two years since we've been here well, it seems longer because we've done so much, but... We've done so freaking much that I don't even know, like, what gets on my nerves. I don't know <laughs> what gets me. Damn, this spot is nice. <sighs> California is beautiful. Like, I currently live in Virginia, and when I went out there to L.A., and visit and seeing is so beautiful hopefully one day i'm able to move out there because it's gorgeous they still have mountains they still you can still sit and enjoy nature you know even with the big tall buildings it's still nature you know what i'm saying like it's gorgeous gorgeous rent is mad expensive though living is more I can't imagine going years later and visiting the same thing that I did before I'm currently right now. That makes sense. Like, I can't, that, that is so mind blowing to go down a path that you already got done with. Like, the, that whole experience would be mad crazy. Like, I can't even think of their emotions right now as they recording this. It's like crazy. It's like a bittersweet moment, you know? It's crazy. This is exciting. <laughs> so, so, we're obviously not going to be seeing the same exact one that we were living in, but we're gonna see something very similar. <sighs> Are you nervous? No. No? To me, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous just because there's so many memories. And it's just crazy to like put your... I actually remember them being in this apartment. Like, no lie, I remember them being in this apartment. But I just, I just want y'all to know this is going to be a long video. So please hold on with me. Please hold on with me. Go get some snacks. Go get a drink. Put your feet up. Put your blanket on. Y'all just going to sit here. Y'all just going to... See this reaction, it's gonna be long, so hold on to this journey. Back in that same situation that we were in. Wait. It's the same exact one. <laughs> same like setup though. This one's like almost identical. So Yeah, the only difference was ours was in the corner and this one's over here. But same exact setup. So you guys are going to see exactly where everything started right here in our. That's crazy. That is crazy. <sighs> All right. It's going to be a long video, y'all. Like, literally. It's like two something in the morning, and I'm up here doing a reaction video. In our first very apartment. Fuck 
go, 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 go. We were happy. I mean, we're still happy, but we were, we were, yeah, we were so happy living in our 600 square foot apartment. We were so happy. You know, like we didn't have to think about much. Oh my God, yes, we yes. did our laundry. Look, just look at this. Just come in, Ace family, just come in. I feel like we were just content. We were content with where we were. I don't know if anybody is familiar with footage, square footage and stuff when it comes to apartment or houses or whatever, but that is small. Like, that is small. And they always say money don't make you happy, but people be so pumped just to help me get it. But after they have it, they'll realize their simple life was sometimes the best life. I don't know. I haven't got that. I haven't felt that yet. So I don't know what that feels like. You know, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to make it myself. Okay, okay. Our situation, we were, we were, in like a struggle. You know, before that moment, we were living at my dad's house. With you being pregnant, having a kid. When we first moved into this spot. We were unable to afford furniture for the first, I want to say two weeks. And Catherine and I bought a blow up mattress, air mattress, whatever you want to call it. We put it right here, right in the middle of our living room. So what we. Y'all and I know he said he haven't, wasn't able to buy it for two weeks, but I know people that couldn't buy furniture for months. So two weeks isn't even that bad. Like, that's a blessing compared to what some people cannot do. I think that's a blessing. That's a blessing. You're doing, living in a 600 square foot apartment. I mean, that, 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 that was doing our best. Because we, bar we barely got to that point. Starting this whole journey, journey we never thought we would get to this point. Mm -mm. Shall we go up to the um, master bedroom? Not really master, but the only, yes, the only bedroom. Let's first hit you guys with the bathroom. Oh gosh, this. So continue to the only. Y'all think this bathroom that it's showing us, and I'm not remembering, I don't know if anybody follows this family, like with their YouTube journey or anything, but. As, if I remember, I may be wrong, but I'm going to have to go back and look. Austin one time, a long time ago, did a spider prank on Catherine. And I think this is the same exact bathroom that he did that on her. And she was so, and the bathroom was like so itsy bitsy, so small. Like, like literally you go like this and like you're touching. You know what I'm saying? And she's just like freaked out bedroom she went crazy oh it seems so much bigger than before you know what I just realized this is crazy so not only did we start what we do today our lifestyle and obviously become famous but we also became parents at the very same time yeah what makes it that, that much, much harder, harder. I have this really distinctive memory of me and you coming upstairs when I was like two months old and us looking over and she was looking at us and I remember us saying, wow, I can't believe she. She is freaking adorable. Cute. She looked like baby. She liked the other baby. Like I think Alayla, Alayla, baby Alayla. I forget the baby's name that quick, but she looked like baby Alayla. So cute. So chubby.
if I ever am blessed and fortunate enough to buy a house, I do want high ceilings and tall walls. It just makes it look so much more magnificent, more space. You know what I'm saying? More glamorous. And I, I, I want that. Like, I want that. They don't have anything like that here where I currently live, you know? Um, but I would love to be able to have something like that as we keep getting older. Imagine in the future when I do have a house, when I do buy my own house, I want it to be high ceilings. Yeah. Because of this Because place. of this place. Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> We're actually here. Avalon, a place that we will always remember for the rest of our lives. Before we take you guys over to the next place that we lived in, the next apartment, I just want to say that when we moved out of here, we had 300,000 ACE family members. Just so you guys can understand our timeline. That is a lot of freaking subscribers. I want to know how the hell they did that. If anybody know, please let me know. Please comment below and let me know how in the world did that take place that quick. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. What the hell did they do? What's the secret? What's the tea? Drop it in the comments. Y'all, just be on this earth, and I know this sound, just be on this earth, you take in, if you don't have faith, you don't have nothing, nothing at all, period. You wake up every day on faith. You breathe every day on faith. You eat every day on faith. So if you don't have faith, what are you living for? What are you here for? You know what I'm saying? You take risks and do things off of faith literally every second of the freaking day. Literally. Literally. One of the biggest risk takers, and you'll see why in the series, but... You'll see why we're risk takers. Let's, let's take a video. We didn't know what we were doing. Did we? No, we didn't. We, we had the worst camera ever. We had the worst quality camera ever. I mean, at least ever. we had a camera, but it wasn't the yeah, best. Yeah, it wasn't the best camera. And I believe our YouTube channel name was... Austin and Catherine Blog start now. It was that is actually true. I remember they made a whole video. They made a video sitting at the table. I remember it. I think if I'm not mistaken, they played like the wet, it was like the wet head game. If I'm not mistaken. And they made a video explaining that day that they was changing the name to the Ace family. And I remember I was like, oh wow. So it was telling everybody if it looks weird, that's why, because they changed, they're changing their name. This is how much I I've been watching them since like day one. Not the Ace Family. We changed it to the Ace Family like three or four months after. For those who do not know, told y'all. Haven't noticed already. Told y'all. Our YouTube name to, to the Ace Family. Ace Family. I think our first intro was "Hey guys." Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey guys. Y'all, I think I remember this location that they going to now because I remember, um, I think he did a prank on her or something like that. And she ended up coming outside um, in the hallway. So I actually remember this place as well. Okay, so now we're headed to the second place that we lived in, which is our second apartment. 
This apartment, I believe, was fifteen hundred right square feet. So double the size um, of our first apartment, they, they and it was super there. expensive. What did we pay? They actually moved, like, but I do remember thirty-four hundred dollars. Anybody that lives in an apartment knows that that is ridiculous, and we didn't have the money at the time to just spend thirty-five hundred dollars. Y'all get the fuck thirty-four hundred. Thirty four hundred. Thirty four hundred for an apartment. That is ridiculous. That is mad expensive. Each month. I couldn't. I could not. Y'all, I'm a single parent. Like I could thirty four hundred. That's crazy. Yikes. Clearly. We didn't have the money at the time to just spend $3,500 a month on rent. So, you know what we did? We worked our asses off because we believed that we could make it happen. Let's, let's just, let's just show you guys. All right, so before we walk in this apartment, I just want you guys to know, before we moved in here, Elle was around six months. The more ACM members we had, the more it got a little crazy because this is the place where people found out where we lived and that's when the whole madness <laughs> yeah i don't know if y'all know this but it seemed like people find out where they live very easily one just being a youtuber in general you take risks every time you make a video because every time you make a video if it's not in the same exact room and you start moving around the house and doing it in different rooms, people are gonna start realizing, oh wait, this place looks familiar, and they're gonna start watching your stuff more. And then they're gonna you start vlogging and they're gonna see the routes outside. They're gonna like, oh, I think I know where this person lives, but they're gonna pull up on your ass. So it's not really good to always like show people everything in the house or all your whole moves it's kind of good to keep some things discreet so that way you are a little bit more protected but it's hard when you is doing youtube or in the public eye because you don't think about that stuff at this time you got to record because you have to make content you have to make content you don't think about that at the time you know I remember that. Speaking of story times, you guys, since I'm getting trying to get in the habit of doing things, you know, without Jakaya around as far as my reactions, if y'all want to know story times and different things like that, please let me know. I'm more to what y'all, I like to talk. I love to talk. So I would definitely do a story time for you guys. Just let me know what you want to know. Um, and I do a story time, let y'all get to know me a little bit better. Was here. From the last place that you've seen, we obviously couldn't do much filming there because the place literally was too small, but this was much bigger and we were able to do so much more. Content leveled up bigger than the last, <laughs> than our last spot. I used to love our bathroom. I used to love this bathroom. I love this bathroom. So my favorite part about this bathroom was actually the tub. And this is where I would give Elle all her baths, so I would put her in here. So it was a beautiful place, but it was also starting to get scary because we started getting famous. Yeah. People obviously and Elle was growing up. Because before when Elle was a baby, there wasn't much for her to, to do other than just to, to be there. Yeah. So when we moved in here, well before we moved in here, we knew we couldn't afford it. We had just enough to pay for this place. And to be honest with you, it's like we, we really took a risk because we knew that moving into this place, that we would really be able to capitalize. 
Y'all, so what I was trying to say before I just totally messed up where I was at. Being a parent, you take a lot of risk. You take more risk being a parent than just not having kids at all. Because, and the reason why I say that is because you have a whole human being you have to like make sure you can provide for, make sure that you can give them everything that they need to give in order to live and be protected. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. You risk every day. Every day you take risks. And some of your actions may not be perfect, but you doing it thinking of your family, thinking of your children. Um, so for them to get bashed the way they've been getting bashed lately, I feel like people's not looking. They only looking what the internet is showing them and not actually taking time to understand who they're throwing underneath the bus. Yes, they got incidents out there that I don't even agree to. You know what I'm saying with the lollipop and everything situation? But that would be a whole different conversation. But what I'm trying to say is they every day you take risks. Me making this YouTube video right now is taking a risk. Every day that we record and everything that me and her do, we I take a risk jeopardizing us um so ah, yikes being an adult is not easy like seriously yep film recording every day y'all is the hardest thing ever you have to record then you have to edit hours and hours of editing and then you got to post it and do everything that comes with that and if you don't make content if you're not recording and showing people your life and bringing them inside you don't have any content so i see what they're saying like when you are you especially a youtuber you have to make content you're going to record they're going to know they're going to end up finding out parts of your life that you want to keep private. But if you don't record, you don't have any content. If you don't have any content, you don't have a channel. If you don't have a channel, you don't have subscribers. See what I'm saying? So they risking everything every day. And people who don't doesn't do what they do don't understand that. Um, once the money in the bank account was getting low, uh, that's when we amped it up. <laughs> We amped it up so much that we had to start filming every other day. We knew that if we were consistent. that's probably why they also get thrown underneath the bus for having fake content, faking them pranks, because now they're trying to find a way. They got more expensive home they're trying to keep up. And they got baby ale, and they got to have food. They got to have all this stuff. So now they're like, oh, crap, we got to record. We got to have content. Well, let's fake this. Let's do this. And so they're faking some of their pranks and they're doing a whole lot of stuff to make content. Um, so I don't hold them accountable of that. Because in the, the day, they're thinking of their family. But while they're doing that, they're jeopardizing their lifestyle situation as well. We would continue to grow when you grow even faster. I would love to be in front of the camera. Like, I started incorporating her more. Yeah, but I feel like as she, you know, was growing up and she was so used to having the camera on her, it was almost like she was natural. She loved doing it. And I feel like that is such a huge asset to our channel because when you enjoy something, it makes it that much better. It makes it that much better and that much easier. Yeah. Like if Elle didn't like being in front of the camera, she was like, well, we wouldn't like be running. Like, that is so true. Once you enjoy something, the experience will be like mind blowing. You'll be so amped, so hype just to do it. It wouldn't even be a situation. It's like going to work. If you love doing what you do at work, it's no problem. It's a straight breeze. But if you hate that shit, it's a drag. Like you ain't going to do it. You're not going to put your heart and soul into it. It's not going to be as great as what it could be because you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel that. And they was getting dragged, too, for using their children as bait, using Ella's bait because she's so cute and ah. Uh, but at the end of the day, 
if they know their child loves being in the camera, why not allow her to be in the camera? Why not record? That's their seed. That's part of their family. You can't keep her hidden. You know what I'm saying? Because then somebody going to find a way to talk about that. Oh, well, it's all about Austin and Catherine. They'll never let L, you know, we'll never see baby L. Do they even take care of her? Ah, ah, it'll be that situation. But when they put L in a situation because that is family, she, that's his daughter. That's her daughter. She loved the camera. They get thrown underneath the bus for that as well. It's like no matter how you wipe your ass in the day, somebody going to have something to talk about it. That's crazy. It's been a freaking year since we've been here. This is really where if it's only been a year since they moved out that place, they got mad subscribers like so quick. I really want to know how the hell that shit took place. And I'm sorry, excuse my language. I want to know how that took place. Please spill the tea. This is really where the Ace Family was created. The Ace Family brand was built here. Look at that. That's crazy. Because I think we hit a million. Here. We hit a million Ace Family members here. And we were growing yep. so much and so fast that we actually had a tourist attraction on our imagine balcony. imagine that? You go on your balcony and thousands of people, hundreds of people standing there all day long. That makes somebody want to move like, what? That is crazy. And I don't know if y'all know this, but there is a lot of YouTubers out there that actually rent out locations, homes to record in because they're trying to avoid this situation. There's other YouTubers out there that move to a gated community. So that way, if you don't have a key, you can't get in so they can have a private life, a private home to enjoy their home with their family. And there's other YouTubers that buy houses with gates around it. So it's just like, I don't think the gates around it is more effective than a gated community, but this is the reason why YouTubers do that. Or not even YouTubers, but people that is so popular in the public eye. This is why they go to an extreme to do this because of the situations like this. I can't imagine. That would actually freak me out, like no lie. Towards the end. Yeah. Towards the end of us living here, we would literally have people outside of our balcony yelling, hey, Ace Fam, late. We would come home and people would be sitting there all day for us to come home. At that point, we could no longer live in the last house. Yeah. It was, there, there for, was just no way For possible. several reasons. Several. One being, obviously, the fans were, were getting buck wild outside on the balcony. Knocking on our door, ringing our doorbells a million times. We just... That shit right there would have me crawling on the floor, not wanting to move or no nothing. Like, yo, go the fuck home. Like, why is you knocking on my door? Send me a DM or something. <laughs> Y'all, that will that will freak me out. Like, seriously, that's crazy. Yikes. And they really have this recorded. I cannot imagine. That's crazy. It was almost impossible for us to film at that spot because of how loud the fans were outside. Like, they were yelling Ace Family as we were filming. So while we were filming, you would hear Ace Family come out. Like, it was just too much. So towards the end of our stay at the last home, we actually ended up leaving a couple of months earlier. I couldn't even, like, walk past my balcony because, like, people would just literally stand there. Yeah throughout the entire day and it was so amazing like feeling such great support i mean that's mad support that is loyal support but damn that's too loyal like go home have some that's i think that's at the end of the day that's that's getting a little bit too disrespectful like seriously i didn't know they got babies and stuff there that's kind of creepy
Clearly. See, that's what I was. That's what I was saying before. Like, that's when you when you know, it's just time. I would have just took that risk and moved into a gated community, knowing that you was going to grow some more. I would have just took that time and just did that, other than taking the route that they moved into a house with a gate around it. That's not really keeping it safe because it was on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's not private at all. If you actually go and Google that address or Google the 870, that address pops up. So no matter if you a subscriber or not a subscriber, a fan or a hater, you can find their home. And that is not good at all. Not good. But we're, 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 still, we're still able to, to be yeah. normal. We were trying to find a home and every single place we looked at that we actually liked, they obviously you guys know when you buy a home, you have to provide two years of taxes. Um, which we did not have. Which we didn't have. So you have to have two years of tax of that amount of income. So we orchestrated our deal in where you can rent out for a year and it's called like lease to buy uh -huh. or rent to buy. And so you lease a place for a year and then you buy it and then the money that you spent to lease it goes into the home of purchase. And this is what I don't understand. They was, I don't know if y'all remember this, but they have been drugged. They people was dragging them so bad for lying about them owning this house and they just explained it to you. They could not buy the house because they did not have the su supported income at the time to show that they can take care of that house. So therefore they had to do the lease to rent um or a lease to buy, meaning you're going to rent this house and as you renting it i think you have to pay a little bit extra on it well whatever you're doing it goes towards buying the house so that way you can own it when your time is up and so i understand when they kept saying in their videos that they they bought this house because in reality they're they're buying they're in the process of buying it they just haven't fully made that that goal yet to own it because right now they're still renting it but from the subscribers point of view oh well how are you going to say that you bought this house but your camera guy threw you out and said won't you call the owner and see i don't know if y'all remember this clip when supposedly it was a ghost in the room and the drawers opened up and the the guy said won't you call to the renter to see about the history of the house that right there started mad conflict and start calling them liars about owning something that they didn't. But now it's explaining the reason why that took place. Now, this is a very long video. This house they're talking about was gore. Like when I first seen them move into this house, I was like, oh my gosh. What? That that was like everything. The view, everything was like magnificent. It was gorgeous. What we were thinking when we did it because thinking what back, thinking? it was the worst Crazy. mistake we could have probably ever done. But like you said, you never know where you're going to end up. It was a great investment in our business. Yeah. Right? I just feel like... Did you feel we, that way? Well, we, when we moved in, I was like, we're going to be here for a while. Like, yeah. We're going to be here for a while. In the next couple of years, we'll end up leaving. But one thing about the house that I still to this day am obsessed with is the view. Yes. The view 
was unbelievable. And I feel like the house was, was so nice that it motivated us to want more. Yeah. Wow. So this is where I feel like our lives have changed. This house. The, the last apartment was where the Ace Family brand was created, like our niche and what we were gonna stand for. But I feel like this house is where our lives changed. Changing in a way of realizing how big we were getting. Like, yeah, because when we moved in here, we were like, oh yeah, like we do gorgeous. this, like, yeah, it, like, yeah, it really hit us. But we didn't realize, like, holy crap, like, there's gonna be hundreds of people coming here every single day like we never showed that like we hardly ever showed that that part of us was like something we always wanted to keep to ourselves because we felt like the more you show that the more it feeds fuel to the fire you know more people are going to come and that's crazy you have to worry about all that being at home that is crazy I want to know, comment below, you guys, can y'all handle that pressure, becoming an upcoming YouTuber or being a big YouTuber at all? How is it? If you are new coming to this, into this, can you handle all this pressure that comes with that, especially when you have kids? How would you react? What would your emotions be like this? Because no lie, like everybody that does YouTube wants to like rocket ship off. But can you handle what comes with that? Everything is not all glitter and gold. There's a lot of ugh that comes with it as well. But can you handle the pressure? Please comment below and let me know. And so, like, this is honestly, like, when I'm here on the street, I just feel so nervous. I feel anxiety because I was literally scared to go out and throw the trash. Yeah, I think this house definitely was when we realized that we couldn't just leave our house and be normal anymore. Let's show them the backyard. Show them where the kids... Y'all, look at that's crazy. This place is magnificent. It's absolutely insane how beautiful this place is. But it's sad that they had to leave on bad terms like this because of fans, because of haters, because of everything it's crazy i think at the end of the day people need to learn how to have respect for people's lifestyles as well even though you love them you look up to them have respect at the end of the day have respect the kids we didn't have a lay at the time but let's show them where l used to have a good time i feel like this house was more alive when we were here now that we're not here i feel like it's just it's just here and it never felt like home yeah, that's one thing. It never felt like home. But like I've been saying, we were moving into places for our business. It wasn't really for us to be here forever. It wasn't our forever home. It was always an investment. We knew to get to where we wanted to be, we had to be here first. I see what he's saying. Look at that view, y'all. I must say, this Every view. morning I can wake up to that. Like that view, breathtaking, like, that is, y'all, I love nature. Like, that is beautiful. Going out there, meditating, exercising, everything. That is, like, breathtaking. I don't think you could ever find another spot that's so, like, magnificent other than close, and, close to water. But it's gorgeous. Summer. I didn't imagine not having this view. Like, I imagined us being here for a while. I just didn't know we were going to leave so soon. And I didn't know that I was I was going to end up hating this place as much as I do now. This view is beautiful. And what we do is so difficult. I feel like people don't understand that there's really nothing private in our lives anymore. Like. As much as we want certain things to be private, it's just not possible and because we have to day, film when everything. You record and do like when we get like something this, new, you cannot expect your life to be private because you're putting people in your life to get to know you so they can love you and your family. It's going to get crazy. 
it's going to get crazy. So I don't understand why he didn't I think about that as it was happening. And I think at the time it was happening, he thought about that, but he didn't care because it was just like new, something new. But now as he got tired of it, now he's complaining about it. You see what I'm saying? In order to do what we do, to continue doing what we do, we have to show it. We have content. That's content. We need, we need content, I mean. So it can be stressful sometimes because like we want to feel safe. We want to feel like we're at home, but then we have to film in our home because our home is our office. Yeah. In order to keep, keep doing going. what we're doing, in order to yeah. keep going, in order for people to have something to watch. Because imagine if we don't have anything to show, then there's no content. Which means Ace Family won't be having any videos. So it's, it's interesting to think about. And I feel like recently we've done a good job of of trying to find that balance. Yeah, we've like strategically found that balance where like we can go on a date and we're not filming and we can feel good about it and still feel like, okay, like tomorrow obviously we're gonna be filming, but we're very strategic about what we film. So it's like, it's really, really tough and it's harder than people think. And if we have the cameras rolling the entire day, if you really think yep. about it, we're never gonna live our lives. That is true and I don't think most YouTubers understand that like you're not going to live the full potential of the life that you want to live because you constantly have that camera up in your face all day long all day long and it, it it gets overwhelming you know what i'm saying very overwhelming very even doing challenges and pranks it gets overwhelming because even on our channel we do pranks. it takes me hours to get that prank done because i have to like hide out and duck out and be sneaky it really takes me hours hours to do pranks especially the one that i the most recent one i did with the bed the saran wrap on this bed um on on her bed it took me hours literally and then i had to be at work an hour right after i got done recording so it's like you know what i'm saying like but i do it because of you guys and i want you know i want y'all to see the fun side of us and just enjoy us as well but it's very overwhelming so over here i have so many memories this is where l learned how to swing for the first time used to love this playground but at the same time playground was a curse because as we were swinging ace family members people would come up to the gate and just be watching us and you know what else said to me one day he goes dada watch why are they watching that's sad when when your child start realizing that like i think people be so fascinated of what they see on camera they want to be a part of your everyday life so now they're taking advantage since they know where they live and just stand there watching i think that's like that's a little too extreme and i feel like the subscribers who did that need to actually really think about their actions and have respect for people next time because i think that's a little way too much imagine yourself in that in in that how would you react how would you handle that situation that's just too much Stop. yes and like i tried my best not to like make it a scene to where like they saw us like leaving or l noticed or anything but i like as they were coming up i was like picking her up and like tried to like dip off in the cut that's sad. I've never thought about stopping, but I feel like if we... I've thought about it. Really? Yeah. Really? I have. With all that that they got going on, I would have thought about stopping too and finding something else um, to do because at the end of the day, all that actually is a lot when 
when you didn't mentally set your mind up for it. That makes sense. I felt like they really didn't mentally set their mind up for it. So they got thrown underneath with the unexpected. So now they don't know how, they didn't know how to handle it. You know what I'm saying? So that would have been very, very, very difficult for me to handle. I'm not even going to sit up here and hold you. Like that's too much mentally for me. As far as all the drama that they've been into, plus over top of the stalking, that's a little too much. But I feel like if they was mentally prepared for the worst case scenarios like this, then I would have been okay if I was prepared for it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because I didn't think you would ever say that. Yeah. It's stressful and just like constantly pleasing people you know I don't know and like for the most part I feel like I'm pretty I'm like a pretty strong person like I don't let things get to me it don't matter how strong you is at the end of the day people get fed up people it's like putting bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks. And all of a sudden, one day, it's going to be so heavy that everything's just going to collapse and fall. Collapse and fall. I don't care how strong you are. You're still a human being. And that actually, for me, that... And I know for millions of people out there, that's too much to handle if you put yourself in their shoes. You know what I'm saying? That's And I will want to quit... I would have thought about having a mindset of quitting too, but at the end of the day, then how are you going to take care of your family? You know? Yeah. But I feel like it's just the pressure that like builds up. Cause it's like the bigger you get, the harder it, is. The harder it gets. Like there's been times where I've been so stressed or I'm like, yo, is there like a drug that can like make this shit all go away? It can get crazy. Like the mental, you gotta really be mentally strong. I feel like to do what we do, and consistently do what we do, you know? Yeah. Out of all the years watching him, I have never seen him like, this is very emotional. I knew it was gonna be an emotional movie by the way it started off. I said movie, it's like a movie, seriously. But I knew it was gonna be a very emotional video by the way it started off, but I can't imagine, I really can't imagine not trying to think about going into the career I want to go to, not being prepared for the worst case scenario, you know? Oh, oh, oh my God, he almost cracked. Hey, if you live next to your old house. You just posted a snap of a layup, now I'm getting bashed for it. It's not considered a good thing anymore to give back for whatever reason. People want to see us argue more than us give back. What is it like being a famous baby? Acting like you're security. You lucky I don't beat your ass. They're back and start saying like fucked up shit about our family. Okay, so that moment right there that you guys saw, and next thing you know, it's, it's a story. I'm tired of trying to carry everybody. So for the safety of our family and our daughters, obviously we have to make some adjustments. Feel safe? Should we just tell them? Y'all. So I feel like the next episodes will definitely get into more details. Um, if y'all like this reaction, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. If you want more reactions, please let me know. If you want to see other reactions from anything just um please follow me on social media um hit us up hit me up in a dm and i definitely react to whatever you want me to react to um so i definitely thank you guys for watching if you made it this far love you i did not i knew this video was gonna be mad long but i didn't know it was gonna be this long so but i thank you guys for watching